Hey, what's going on? Your man, Sea God, back in the place to be. So today, we're going to be working on the 2008 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic that I recently picked up. You might be able to see it back there, I don't know. But, like I said, we're going to be getting down. First uh, set of parts going on to the bike, boys. So basically, uh, all this stuff that we're going to be doing today is all very easy stuff you can do you know i'm doing it in the middle of the street in the scorching sun but as you can see this is our uh, group of parts here so starting it off we got some spiked uh covers that go on the front forks so those will basically come off like where the, your uh your axle is on the front end you got a five inch screen here basically like the smallest one i could find uh it's all pretty cheap stuff also guys like as you can see we got some headlight trim here so we are going to be replacing uh the passing lamps entirely as well we got these four and a half inch uh they are glass fluted amber sealed beams so these are basically the same ones that i ran on the soft tail you know so I mean, if you're new to the channel, you might not know, but go ahead and feel free to check it out. Basically the same thing, though. Then we got Harley-Davidson visors for both the headlight and passing lamps. So basically, boys, that's going to be the setup. Go ahead and show you what these actually look like here. Now, these will require slight modification. but they are glass and they do not appear to have the screws with them so that's unfortunate I wonder if this one does yeah this one has them okay so for some reason we got some with screws and some without screws you have to figure something out with that but uh, yeah so these actually have like this little alignment piece here that way you can keep your fluting correct. Look at that. She's a beaut, isn't it? So yeah, that. And then we're going to be throwing these over them. These ones are kind of hard to see. I might actually open them up. I haven't opened them up myself. Okay. So it looks like the bullet portion of it like screws onto these. All right. Cool. So those should go on, like I said, and then those visors will go over the top of these. You know what I'm saying, boys? Oh, it looks like we got some chota action going on over there. They're gone, though. So basically like that. Pretty killer. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get all this stuff assembled. I'll go ahead and actually take you guys over to the bike so you can see the parts that are getting replaced. So here she is. The old grandpa deluxe. So yeah, like I said, basically fender or front end parts. Uh, it's pretty dirty, so pay no attention to that but we're going to be changing out this big old windscreen to one about like half the size or so probably going to leave this piece off this little trim piece um because it's just i'm not a big fan of the machining or whatever that is but that should be super simple boys you literally just take off the three allens here comes off put the new one in clamp it down should be ready to roll so our front end our original trim rings will just unbolt and then our lights will come out. We're gonna have to do some rewiring on the sealed beams. So hopefully I could find some more screws for that. It's unfortunate that it didn't come with them, but then yeah, we'll have our visor right here as well coming out, looking player, and the three bar pieces as well. Should be killer, get our nuts. So those are basically gonna come down here on the forks. And they just go on with set screws, very easy installation. You know, that'll literally take maybe like a minute or two. And our front end should look pretty different, boys. Right now, like I said, uh, the windscreen is not too bad. 
Uh, we'll see what differences it makes going with the smaller one. But it should definitely look better. We'll probably also pull off these pieces. I'm just not a big fan of them. Uh, it should just be these three torques right here, or four of them it looks like. Damn. So I'll go ahead and get these pulled off as well. I wonder what that's for. Oh, damn fool, there's a cigarette lighter, bro. Yeah, that's player. For whatever you need to light your cigs, you know? I didn't know I had one of them, boys. That's cool, make sure she's all the way in there before I lose it. But yeah, so we'll get that pulled off, see what's good with it. And then, uh, yeah, we'll start knocking some of the stuff out. I'll bring you guys back, yee. So there's our windscreen difference, bros. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Try and pick this piece up. So like I was telling y'all, uh, went ahead and uh, threw those little nut covers on, you know what I mean? So I mean, there's that. Let me step out of the sun. Ooh. So they look cool, uh, slightly out of place currently on the bike, you know? but eventually they'll look in place. So they go on real easy, like I said, just got two set screws on the bottom and they go on. This is our bike with the top pulled off. So basically, like I was telling y'all, just these three little Allen head screws that was holding it on, took it off, pulled off that little panel as well. Probably gonna be putting it on without that panel, just put the bolts. You know, for now, I got another chrome piece coming for it, but it's not here right now, so thug life. I think it looked cool, you know, just a clean look. Uh, so let me get this thrown on there real quick. I'll bring y'all back and we'll move on to the headlight segment of this video, boys. Yeah. All right, boys, so in moving on with the passing lamp installation, since they are sealed beams, we have to cut the connector off. But basically, you just wire it up, uh, you strip the wire back. I put two little uh, wire terminals on the end of it. And uh, yeah, then you just kind of screw it on. So it's not too hard to put on, but it's kind of hard to go back to stock. So hopefully you like those. But that's basically how they look, dude. Killer. As you can see, the stock one there, looking pretty whack. I'm gonna actually go ahead and pull off these little fin thingies as well. But that's how it looks with the new windscreen and our trim piece just removed. So, I mean, as you can see now, like the trim or the windshield is about as tall as the bars. So, I mean, that's cool, kind of. Um, if you watched the first video, whenever I got the bike, we actually did get new bars too, so Either way, our bars are going taller. Um, headlight trim ring, stupid simple, boys. Literally, the stock one comes off. It was with a single Phillips head screw. And then this one kind of just goes on. There's a little metal piece around there that this one kind of goes around. And then you just screw it on on the bottom. I feel like maybe it could be sanded in the middle and squeeze a little bit tighter. But these ones... Uh, work really well you got to make sure you tighten those on really well as well make sure you have a good uh seat you really don't want to drop one of those um i know because i've had it happen to me before on the soft tail i was just riding and one of them fell out damn look you know how hot it is out here for the bike to melt through the uh asphalt boys that's the weather climate that i'm out here working in but damn look at these though they look so damn good i'm gonna get the other one on um let me know does that middle one look straight to you guys or does it need to be turned a little bit it's really hard to tell but i'm gonna get this other one on and i'll bring y'all back get kind of like the completed product of our front end upgrade it's looking a ton better already get these pulled off and uh this other light done and we should be just about wrapped up i might do some other little extra stuff but we'll see right now All right, boys, so we got the completed product basically now. So as you can see, there's the front of our Ultra Classic.
It looks pretty killer if you ask me. Still need turn signals and stuff, you know what I mean? Keeping it kind of simple for now though. Cleaned it up with the windshield and the uh, trim piece removed. But we basically got the lights, boys. They look killer. I'll go ahead and turn them on for you. All right, you can go ahead and see them all lit up. See what they look like. So basically there's your front view now. I think they look pretty sick. Uh, I have a vest, a leather vest, you know what I mean, riding vest or whatever. And it's got uh, black leather with yellow stitching on it. So probably going to go ahead and cop another seat. Get it put on here, you know. So that's basically why I wanted to put the amber lights in the front. That way I'd have a little bit of the, you know, black and yellow type look going. Kind of keep the theme or whatever, you know what it is. But with that being said, I got to do something about this amber up here now. I don't know what to do just yet on that. I might do like clear lenses with amber bulbs for the turn signals and then just get these like chromed out. Same thing with the rear one. It's not too bad. Um, not a fan of the amber. Once again, if the turn signals were just red, that would be dope. I don't even think the bumper lens or the fender tip lights even work, but I mean, it's there. I don't know. Probably get it chromed out though, like I said. Other than that, I did end up moving uh, my phone mount. I have it right here, that way it's not getting hit by any wind or anything like that. And I just didn't really like having it up there. I like having the clean look up on the top, but this is actually meant for like a one inch handlebar. So I basically got a longer screw to be able to get that mounted up right there. But uh, yeah, so we're rock, rocking the phone, you know, all that good stuff. But yeah, boys, basically the old grandpa bike is turning into something, you know what I mean? Getting these lights put on looks killer. The shield and all that stuff, it looks way better. Can't wait to get some wheels on it and stuff, boys. We'll really get her juking. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to remove the saddlebags easily. Because I got the stretched bags and they're already color matched. I literally, you know, could just swap them on. But I don't know if the tour pack is in the way of removing it. Or if I'd have to possibly remove these uh, saddlebag guards or something, you know. But if it's too complicated, I probably won't do it. But I'll give it a shot. Um... If so, then I'll bring y'all back at that point. But as of right now, boys, that's probably going to do it. Y'all seen how we're doing it with the lighting and stuff now. You know what I mean? One last little peep at it. Damn, that's clean, ain't it? But yeah, boys, if not, that's probably going to be the end of this one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, going to be throwing a lot of mods on this thing, you know. So make sure to stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the deal. I'll bring y'all back if I get the bags on. If not, I'll catch y'all in the next one where we'll surely be putting them on, boys. Deuces. Later. All right, guys. So as fate would have it, I went ahead and started putting the stretch saddle bags on. So basically, uh, I did get the ones with the 6x9 lids. So that's gangster. Um, basically, what we're going to be doing, though, they almost go on. The stock saddle bags come off with the tour pack, no problem. Uh, these ones... So since they are stretched, it doesn't uh, clear as well on the bottom side, especially because the pipes are kind of big too. So we actually have to remove this uh, like latch, which isn't too bad. It's like a T20 Torx, you know. But basically, this is the uh, end goal and design of it. So I mean, they fit real nice, covers the pipe and stuff stretch down the bike still is really tall so it doesn't look as cool but it'll look cooler eventually but yeah let me get that other side on boys and then uh, i'll bring y'all back and we'll end this video out so there you have it got the stretched bags on her looking a lot more killer they look real nice and shiny too 
So yeah, pretty easy install. Uh, if you've ever installed them, it's literally just the two pins that hold it on. Um, I have heard some horror stories of them coming off, you know, and then like falling off of the bike. If you have these saddlebag guards like this, that's impossible. They'll just sit down and flop. But yeah, I highly recommend saddlebag guards. She's all going off thinking someone's stealing her because I have it, uh, or I moved it. I don't have the key on me. But I moved it because I had it backed up and that saddlebag was going to hit the curb. So she's somewhat of a low rider now, boys, let me tell you. And I like this style saddlebag. It's probably like the first style where it has the body line that like goes down. There's another style that just like the body line goes straight, which is I think what this bike is supposed to have. But I like this style better. Um, once I get some cooler pipes on her, she should be a lot cooler also. But man, boys, that's going to be it for today. Super easy install. Just had to remove that piece. And that's only due to the tour pack. If you got a Road King or Street Glide, whatever, you should be able to slap them on literally in a minute or two for both of them, boys. Uh, I might end up eventually swapping my original Harley latches and uh, maybe even the, the, the lid because the original lid has the pinstriping to match. You know what I'm saying? But uh, if I get the six by nines, then obviously, you know, we'll run these, this entire setup. But I do want to probably swap the latches just so that they say Harley on them all chingon, you know. But yeah, brothers, that's basically going to do it for today. Put in a decent amount of work on the Vikla or the new Vikla. Freshly thinks she's stolen Vikla. So it's looking a lot better, boys more rideable now for me obviously wheels are going to be the biggest thing that, to make the change uh, and i got rotors and all that stuff and uh, we're going to be painting our fork legs the lowers you know because i'm too cheap to go chrome it's like 400 bucks or so for the ebay uh you know swap where you have to send yours back and all that stuff so damn you know but either way boys we'll eventually get the bars on there you know what i mean slowly but surely um Hopefully my pipes come sooner than expected. I think they took like, or they said like three to four weeks or something. And the seat and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I do plan to do air ride on the rear. And then static on the front. Well, lowering kit or whatever, you know. A little two inch Johnny. 21, 16 setup. You know, just keep it real simple. The air ride, obviously for the passengers and stuff. Because I'm a ride is slammed. Y'all already know, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Your boy's about to be Audi. I done got it done for today, boys. It's hot as heck. These damn Kakadas out here, Kakadas, whatever you want to call them, just buzzing away, man. I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Deuces.